very importantly, what we need to do is mark the conical flask R for the rough one and keep it by the side. And we're reading off on here. The end point is exactly with the meniscus on 10 centimeter cube. So we need to add that to the table so A, we don't forget it, and B, we don't get confused. So I'm putting it into the spreadsheet, 10. So we can now see that the volume used is 9.9. .9. Don't fall into the routine of topping it back up to zero. If you're in a professional lab, you don't want to be refilling your urette at each titration. So the next step is to run it. So I know my starting point is now 10. So 10 is our new starting point. So I'm coming back to my titration. This is our second titration. Our first proper one, the first one is just a rough one. Again, I'm going to add exactly, or as near as I can, the same amount of indicator. One, two, three. I'm going to add the sodium hydroxide. Remembering to take it up to the meniscus. I have to glue down. This is in my place. Transfer it. And I'm just to dip it in the base. And now we swirl. So we now do our titration again, putting your hand behind and swirling with your right hand. With your left hand, just turn it round. And we now run it in. This time I am going to look at the volume in the burette because I'm going to stop it after I've run in about 9 centimetre cubed. I'm taking a careful eye, looking at it. Very close now. Now we just do it drop by drop. Still a slight tinge, and therefore it's changed. So let's turn it off. We can see that the two colours in our two titrations are exactly the same. So we now need to read off the, the volume within the burette.